Democratic Party is currently working to build a coalition which some have named the fourth axis. Analysts claim it may add the number of presidential and vice presidential candidates running in the July 9th presidential elections and may influence the outcome of the vote. With the end to the series of conventions to find a presidential and vice presidential candidate to back in the July 9th presidential election, the Democratic Party is already engaging in communications with a number of political powers. Democrat, kalau pinter mainnya masih tetap bisa menjadi kingmaker. Kenapa? Karena tidak ada satu partai pun yang bisa mengusung sendiri kan? Berarti semua ada berkoalisi. Dan Democrat bisa juga mengulangi sejarah lagi tahun 2004. Meskipun hanya tujuh persenan, tapi kan bisa jadi pemenang. Sekarang kalau bagus meramunya dengan sepuluh persen ditambah partai lain, saya kira masih bisa. The Democratic Party appears to have two options in the upcoming presidential election. The first is that the Democratic Party will join forces with one of the three political parties likely to push their own candidate. Goka Party is planning to push Chairman Akbar Tanjung. The Indonesian Democratic Party of Struggle, or PDIP, is backing popular Jakarta Governor Joko Widodo, and the Great Indonesian Movement Party Gurindra will push its head of the Board of Patrons, Prabowo Subianto. The second option is for the Democratic Party to build a new axis by forming a coalition with several mid-scale political parties. If that axis is formed, the Democrats may still have the chance of fielding its own candidate from among the participants of the convention. Observers have pointed out that a new coalition will mean the number of presidential candidates will stand at four. The number increases the potential of the presidential election running for two rounds. It will also mean that the Democrats, even if their presidential candidate did not make it into the second round, will still play a decisive role in determining who the next president will be. Dengan munculnya uh, isu poros keempat, ya seperti tadi saya katakan, bisa terjadi eliminasi dua poros yang lain, bisa terjadi. Ya, tapi kan nanti kita lihat ya. Manuver poros keempat sendiri hmm? seperti apa sih Pak? Ya itu yang sedang dipersiapkan, sedang dilihat dulu hasil pengumuman KPU pada tanggal 9, di mana real countnya akan di, diumumkan oleh KPU, dan disitulah eh, Demokrat bisa melihat posisinya dari hasil pengumuman itu. The Democratic Party on Sunday held their last convention that closed a series of similar conventions which began on September 5th. The conventions are to seek a candidate which the party can back in the presidential election. Following the closure of the series of conventions, the organizing committee will continue holding several meetings before finally announcing the winner of the convention early next month. The committee has also enlisted the services of three survey organizations to conduct a survey on the 11 participants of the convention. Kami memutuskan bahwa konvensi berlanjut, berlanjut artinya akan segera ada final debat, debat terakhir, 11 itu, 11 peserta itu, final debat. Nah, kemudian setelah itu langsung dilakukan survei terakhir. The 11 participants are Ali Maskur Musa, Anis Baswidan, Dalan Iskan, Dino Jalal, Indiatuno Sutarto, Gita Viryawan, Hayono Isman, Irman Guzman, Marzuki Ali, Pramono Edi Wibowo, and Senior Hari Saryudayang.